Earth. And then I always like to put them down and just check because little hairs will pop out when they're down in the natural position. So you're actually going backwards where I have it going the other mm -hmm. way. Just around the nail beds. And it grabs all those little hairs. I wanted a class for this just because I, I am so damn slow the dogs get tired. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now we've gotten all of those feet nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the tail. I'm going to shave this dog's ears for this German trim. So because I'm going to do a 10 on the ears, I'm going to make, make it match and do a 10 on the tail also. Now I'm going to find where the base of the tail is. And that's where I'm going to start my pattern on the tail. I'm gonna make it into a, a U shape here. So right now I'm just getting the bulk of it off. I won't have to go over it a lot of times. This clipper is taking it all off nice and smooth. And if they're nervous like that, you might need to just move your position of your hand a little bit. Some dogs don't like the tip of their tail being held or maybe closer to the base. And then just be very careful at the tip of the tail, making sure that you're going with the direction of the hair there. And you can always go back in with scissors and neaten it up if you need to at the very end. And then I like to lift up the tail and make sure that there isn't any excess hair on the sides of it, which right now there is. So with this tail in the upright position, I'm gonna shave out the sides here so that it separates the tail from the body. Now we've got that nice and neat. I'm just gonna neaten up and straighten up my lines here at the base so they don't look messy. And just making sure that they're nice and even from one side to the other. It's amazing what these little teeny tiny hairs will do to the shape. So make sure to put his tail up into the natural position and see if anything is sticking out that shouldn't be. I want everything to look nice and smooth and elegant. Now again using the 10 blade I'm going to shave his ears. I don't want to take them in too much because I don't want to indent the shape of his head. So I'm gonna start at the ear fold here. 
And I always shave from the center out to the edges. And I'm holding my finger underneath the edges of the ears. And don't forget about that back of the ear because once you start scissoring in your neck, it's gonna be really noticeable if that's messy. So I like to move it around a lot and see what it looks like with it forward too. Make sure you're getting it right to the base. I haven't charged these all weekend and I've used them a lot. So I'm gonna plug in These clippers are really nice because if they die on you, you can use them plugged in also. And they'll charge at the same time. Okay, so I've done that 10 on the outside. I'm gonna change this to a 40 to shave the inside. I'm gonna get the inside of the ear nice and clean. Again, moving from the center to the outer edges and holding my fingers up against the edges of the ear so I can push the clippers against my finger. You never want to go in any other direction because the chances of nicking the ears are really high that way. So, and you have to be very careful of this extra flap that they have. So I used a very light touch there. And then to get these edges a little bit neater, I'm going to keep it on the 40 blade and hold my finger underneath the ear edge and I'm just gonna run that blade right up against my fingers. And then I'll go back in with scissors afterwards and just neaten up anything that it didn't get. I'm gonna turn them once again so you can see the other ear. Turn. Good boy. Again on the 10 blade, right at the fold of the ear. Hmm. Let's see if I can plug in closer here. Going from the center out to the edges. On the entire ear. This is gonna make it look nice and nice, um, nice and velvety. Turn it to a 40. And from the center out.
and really pushing down into my finger at these edges to get off as much as I can. And go over the edges again with the 40 blade from the outside. And I'm gonna turn them again. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Now I'm gonna do his face with a 30. I'm gonna go from the inside of the eye in a straight line to the, or the inside of the ear, I'm sorry, to the outside corner of the eye in a straight line, going against the grain. And because you want it all one length and their hair kind of grows in all different directions here, you're gonna kind of go in all different directions. So I'm just gonna start by getting the length off and then I'll start cleaning it up. I'm gonna go right underneath the eye, straight out towards the nose. And then from the inner corner to the inner corner. And I'm going to get the little hairs right underneath his eye. I'm going to shut his eye and then run it right along the edge there. And very gently right into the nose. Get all those little hairs around his nose. Now stretch out the mouth. And I'm going to run it along the edge of his lips. Get all that hair off. I'm lifting the top lip out of the way so I can get the under lip. And then I'm gonna let that fall and just catch anything that I might have missed. It's very important for this to be nice and neat without any hair sticking out. I'm going to do the same to the other side from the inside of the ear to the outside corner of the eye a straight line shut his eye and go right right along the edges of the eye and then from the eye forward into the nose I'm going to pull his lips tight, moving his upper lip out of the way so I can get a nice clean line along the bottom lip. And then I'm going to lower that while still stretching out his lips to get anything off of the upper lip.
and I'm working in reverse. And if there's any sort of swirls, I'm making sure that I'm going reverse against those two. So I'm going up, down, sideways at an angle, whatever's going to get off all of those hairs and get it nice and smooth and velvety. To get the throat, I like to lift their head up as straight as possible and just run it in reverse right up. Now I'm going to figure out where I'm going to set in these lines here. Now I'm going to feel, and as soon as it starts to indent, I want to stop above that. So when I feel them, I start to indent right here. So I'm going to stop right here. And that's where my shave line is going to be. So it'll be different on every dog and especially every size dog. So I set that in, and then I'm going to go from inner ear to inner ear in a U. Just like I did on the tail. If you're doing a V shape on the tail, you want it to match in the front here. Same thing if you're doing a U, you just want them to match up. I like to set in the line and then go back in and neaten up anything that I need to neaten up.